welcome to the Best Docs Network in the studio. We're very pleased to be joined today by one of the top LASIK surgeons, not only in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but in the country, Dr. Harvey Carter. Dr. Carter, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. And now talk to us about how you started in this field, because you've been performing advanced eye surgery now for over 20 years. But take us back to how it all began why you chose this field of medicine. I chose this field of medicine because I love microsurgery. Um, and I, I, I found that out very early in medical school. And ophthalmology is an incredible mix of, of microsurgery, laser surgery, and, and, and wonderful, wonderful technology. And you did your undergrad at SMU. Did you always plan to come back to Dallas to start your practice? Yes, that, that was my, my goal. I, I came to SMU because of the pre-med program back in the um, the time that we went here and <clears throat> then went to LSU Medical School in New Orleans then did my internship back here in Dallas and residency in Georgia and then back here to Dallas again so I, I love Dallas. That's great and you have a lot of ties to the community very involved in the Dallas community you're the official LASIK eye surgeon of the Dallas Cowboys that has to be both exciting and very rewarding. That, that's that been an incredible incredible journey and I, I, I sort of fell into that. Really? went to a uh, charity event many, many years ago. And at this charity event, uh, I was at one table and the table right next to me was, was Tom Landry. Um, and what a gentleman, I mean, what, what an incredible person. And while we were there, there were a number of Dallas Cowboy players there. And one thing led to another. And uh, first, uh, Tony Casillas' wife came in and, and had LASIK surgery and then Tony Casillas came in and had LASIK surgery and then I think it's like 50 or 60 Cowboys over time came in and, and had wow. LASIK surgery. Wow. The, um, the, the most interesting story was when Troy Aikman came in to have his LASIK surgery, uh, which was a long time ago <laughs> now, <laughs> kind of shocking. Uh, Troy was at the Pro Bowl and decided that he was tired of this and his contact lenses and all that kind of thing. So he came in and had LASIK surgery oh wow, like 15 plus years ago, back when the Cowboys were winning Super Bowls. And um, you know, it's, it's been a very, very interesting relationship with the, the, the Cowboy players and the Cowboy organization over time. That's so fun. And what would you say sets your practice, Carter Eye Center, apart from other eye practices in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? I, I really think it's, it's personal service and, and high technology. Um, Patients, I think, are looking for personal service. At the same time, I think they're looking for high technology. They, they want the latest, greatest, they want the best. If you go way back and look at cataract surgery as an example, when I started in practice over 20 years ago, we were occasionally putting patients to sleep, using stitches, a, a bunch of things in, in that, that sort of experience for the patient. Today, cataract surgery is very, very high tech. Cataract surgery today is done with eye drop anesthesia. So no shots, no needles, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, additionally, the operation is done almost exclusively without sutures. I mean, there, there are no sutures, no stitches involved. Uh, the vision recovery is very, very fast and the, the surgical experience for the patient is, is very, very much improved over what it was 20 years ago. So all that technology that we brought taking and converting that patient from general anesthesia or needle-based anesthesia to this new eye drop, you know, not being put to sleep, you know, not having any shots or needles around the eye, rapid recovery it is really, really very, very dramatic. We took that same sort of approach with laser vision correction. And if you look way back in the 1990s, which seems a long time ago, I was the first FDA investigator in the, the National LASIK uh, investigation with the FDA. And since then, we've done multiple FDA clinical investigations. Uh, and we're currently doing a clinical FDA investigation with um, something called Revision Optics, which is a columnar inlay that you put in the cornea to get people out of reading glasses, bifocals, trifocals. Um, we hope that'll be approved by the FDA in, in a couple of years. But uh, I think the high technology commitment as well as the personal service is what people are looking for. Wonderful. What is, would you say, is the most rewarding part of your job? Oh, making people see again. The, the, practice, the practice started off 
doing real traditional ophthalmology, cataract surgery, implant surgery, and things of that nature. And now we sort of specialize in the surgical reduction or elimination of eyeglasses for, for people of all ages. Young people, say in their, their 20s and 30s, come in for laser vision correction, and that has a variety of different forms. We do the, the state of the art, intralase, all laser, blade free laser vision correction. And that treatment will uh, resolve and, and reduce or eliminate glasses for patients with nearsightedness, farsightedness, and also astigmatism. It, on the other hand, will not stop presbyopia. Presbyopia is when the lens in the eye starts to become dysfunctional over time. And as that dysfunction of the lens gets worse and worse, you lose your ability to read here in, in your 40s. You lose your ability to see your computer, your cell phone out there in your 50s. Then that dysfunctional lens becomes truly cataractous in your 60s or 70s. And as patients come in, we can offer laser vision correction, LASIK, as an example, to the young people for nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism. In the same breath, we can fix with, say, the crystal lens, their dysfunctional lens, or their, their cataractus lens in their you know, 50s, 60s, 70s. So it, it reduces or eliminates glasses altogether for a wide range of patients. Wow, that's great. Well, we are thrilled and honored to have you a part of the Best Docs Network, and we look forward to getting to know you better. Thank you. Thank you.